All right, so I want the equation of the tangent line, so we're going to do all the odd-numbered questions. So f prime of x is equal to 6x squared plus 8x minus 5. So I want f prime of negative 1. So 6 times negative 1 squared plus 8 times negative 1 minus 5. So I get 6 minus 8 minus 5. So that's negative 2, so that's negative 7. And I don't know what my y value is, so I have 2, 4, negative 5, negative 3, 2, negative 2, 2, negative 2, negative 7. Is that right? 2, negative 2, 2, negative 2, negative 7, 7 and 4. So y minus 4 is equal to negative 7x plus 1. And that's my tangent line. Uh, tangent line again. Um, 3 minus x minus x squared times 3 minus 2x plus 3x minus x squared and negative 1 minus 2x. So I want this at... One, you know, I don't have to simplify this. I could just go ahead and plug in one. To start off with. To get my answer. So that's three minus two, which is one. Three minus two, which is one. So this is one plus Um, 3 minus 1, which is 2, negative 3, so negative 6, so this is a negative 5. So then I need x of 1, so that's 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1 minus 1. So this is 2. So my tangent is y minus 2 is equal to negative 5 times x minus one okay and then my last one horizontal tangent so f prime of x x squared minus four times two x minus x squared plus four times two x all over x minus or x squared minus four the quantity squared so 2x cubed minus 8x minus 2x cubed minus 8x over x squared minus 4, the quantity squared. So those go away, so I'm left with a negative 16x over x squared minus 4, the quantity squared. So then negative 16x is equal to 0, so this would give me horizontal. Oops. Tangent. So x is equal to zero. And then my vertical tangent is x squared minus four is equal to zero. So x squared is equal to four. So x is equal to plus or minus two. Okay? And that is it for all the odd numbered questions.